Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I have a massive Ulta haul. Like, I'm a little sick of myself. Now granted, this is stuff that I picked up over the course of a few weeks, several sales, and I've just been piling it because I'm like, wait, you have something else coming in. Wait, you have something else. And now I have bags and boxes and yeah, it's a lot, but if you love hauls, this is the video for you because apparently I've lost my mind. So before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. Please hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of hauls because your girl likes to shop, especially if she finds a sale. I do hair, nails, makeup, tutorials, reviews, the works. So if you want to see what I picked up Y'all, this box is huge. Hold on, hold on. I'm not joking. Ow. There's a lot of stuff. Stay tuned and keep on watching. I don't think I'm swatching anything. I don't know if what I, I don't even remember what I bought. Let's start with that disclaimer. So this might be like a new shopping trip all over again. I'm gonna start with the biggest thing to take that off the top. I decided to buy this Revlon One Step Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler. What is this thing? Is this, whatever it is. One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I bought this, it is a round brush. So you can see there, it has a round brush I wanted to try to figure out a way to start doing my hair where it has more volume because it is getting longer. I don't want to cut it, but I also don't like limp hair. By the way, this is extensions. This video is already up. So if you've not checked it out, please go check it out because this is probably the most seamless my hair has ever looked with matching it with something that's not my hair. So we'll get into that. We won't get into that. Go watch the video anyway. Oval design, tangle-free combination bristles, unique airflow vents. I have no idea, but doing my wigs, doing my hair, I'm just trying to branch out with beso anything besides just a curling iron. So I'm adding to my tools. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bag out and let's see what's in this one. This is all stuff I picked up in store or I'm pretty sure one was in exchange but I think I picked up all of this stuff in store. So the first thing is this Smashbox Times Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. They used to only have this in one shade and now they came out with more shades. So I picked up the shade Medium Dark. I'm just gonna open it to show you what it looks like real quick, but we're not gonna do swatches. I'm always looking for products to help with my under eye circles and I can't open this. Okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna show y'all what this looks like right now because I can't open it, seriously. I'll try again later but this is about the shade of it. It is a moisturizer that you use under your eye and I would use this. I don't think I would use this by itself, but I don't know because I can't tell how thick it is. But what the hell? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm doing it. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this will be a good shade for under my eyes. I may be able to wear this by itself. Not sure, but I don't think I've ever tried this before because the previous one was too light. So I'm excited to try this one out. Other, next thing I picked up is this Tea Tree Bear Moroccan Rolls Moisturize Shave Oil. I love using this for my sensitive areas. Not, I use my bikini area, not all over, just the bikini line. I use this under my arms and I use this on the back of my legs. Anywhere I get irritation really easy or if I get ingrown hairs, I like to use something else besides my soap or shave cream, and I love how this feels. This says it helps soothe skin and helps protect against cuts. Sounds good, and I actually don't normally love the smell of rose, but I tried the scrub in this same scent, and I loved it, so that's why I picked this one up. Next, I picked up this Peach & Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. Anything that can help with my dark spots, wrinkles, uneven texture, pores. I got a few little bumps coming. Not sure what that's from, but anything that can help with that. I'm always looking for 
what I can find on sale because skincare stuff is really expensive. So this, I like this brand a lot and I have other stuff that I've tried by them. So honestly, I hope I don't have this already. I don't think I do, but either way, I'm putting myself on a no buy after all this is done. Like this is the end of the year and I'm just sick of myself. So I'm going to organize what I have, figure out what I need to use first and I need to stop shopping. So I don't think I have this, but I'm excited to try it out. Next, I picked up this Beekman 1802 Milk Primer. This is SPF 35 and it's a sunscreen primer. I saw this on sale and it says it's a weightless pore perfecting primer for the face with sunscreen. Hopefully this does not leave a white cast. I'm not gonna open it. I have my Kylie still open. So I'm trying to use what I have open so it doesn't go bad. But I like that this one says it is a primer and a sunscreen in one because I'm more likely to wear it then. But even if I wear it by itself, it's gonna help with pores. So super excited about that. Next, this kit I picked up honestly because it was $25 and then it was on sale for 12 and then I had 20% off. This is the Juvia's Place I Live I Love Lip Kit. And this one, I think there were two different ones. This says Self Love. I don't know if that's the name of the combo or not, but this one has the shade Self Love and then the lip liner in Cola. I love that lip liner. I already have it and I don't have, do I have? I know I have Juvia's Place lipsticks and I think I have a lip gloss. I don't think I have a matte liquid lipstick. I love this shade. It's a nice nude and it's gonna pair well with this liner. So I thought this was a fantastic deal for the price and the combo is gorgeous. I finally picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I picked up, I wanna say I picked up the shade 11 and it was too light. So I went into the store and I picked up the shade number 13. I do not wanna open this because I have a million concealers open. I know this has been out for a while and I've heard great things about it. People have even had this in their top concealers of the year. Packaging is gorgeous. It is not drying. That's the shade there, which I think is gonna be a great shade. Not too bright, but not like I can't wear this by itself. So I think this will be great for my glam days, but I could also wear it on days when I just wanna look more awake. I also picked up another Juvia's Place kit. This is the I Live I Love Eyeliner Kit. It comes with a pen liner and a liquid liner. I have not tried their eyeliners, so again, I thought this was perfect. This was about $12 as well, plus the 20% off. The liquid liner has a brush tip, and then the pen liner has a felt tip. So both of these are liquids, they're not pencils but it's different types. So I thought this was a great value. Next, I picked up this Capari Starry Eye Balm. I've actually bought this before. I used the whole thing up and then I was like, eh, I don't know how I felt about it. So I didn't buy it again. I absolutely love the Becca, I don't know what it's called, but it's the green under eye primer that has the caffeine and it's supposed to help depuff and all that stuff. And you can't buy that anymore. And then when I was reading about this one, it also says that it helps to hydrate and it delivers a dose of caffeine to depuff, but it also illuminates and plumps. So how do you depuff and plump? I don't know, but I remember I used this before and I guess I didn't really pay attention to how it worked. So I'm gonna try it again, but I got it on sale. So that makes me feel better about it. I also picked up this Grow Gorgeous Volume Root Stimulating Primer. I've never used a hair primer. It says it has rice protein to increase volume in your hair, leaving it feeling more manageable, bouncy, and full-bodied. It has caffeine to stimulate the scalp, biotin to help the scalp feel boosted and energized, menthol for a cooling sensation, love that, oat lipid complex, Improves the barrier function of the skin, leaving the scalp feeling moisturized, amino acids, and it is also vegan friendly, if you care about that. So this basically says you just use this. It doesn't say your hair has to be wet. It says use as part of the volume hair care regime, apply directly to your scalp, massage and leave for 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and then follow with shampoo. So you put this on before you shampoo your hair. 
I picked up two candles. I think these ended up being like $10 total. I don't even remember. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but these are the Homeworks candles. I picked up Winter Fireside, which is a cozy warm scent, and then Cozy Weekend, which is a rich comforting set. This one has roasted, uh, Cozy Weekend has cozy woods, roasted almond, clover honey, and vanilla. Definitely love how this smells. I normally tend to go for, like my favorite is Midnight Blue Citrus. I like fresh smelling candles, but for this time of year, I wanted something a little different. I love sweater weather. We're talking about Bath and Body Works here. Um, I love winter. Uh, what's the other one? I can't think of it. There's a fireside one that I like as well. Yeah, this winter fireside smells like winter. So I thought these would be nice alternatives to see how they compare to my Bath and Body Works candles, but I think they're a little smaller. So they're also a little cheaper. Next, this was pretty pricey, but it was on sale. And I do think I had a 20% off. I got this with my 20% off coupon as well. This is the Dermaflash Lux Anti-Aging Exfoliation Device. This is an Allure Best of Beauty winner from 2018. Y'all, I've seen so many people talk about when they shave their face, it makes their makeup look better. It makes their skin look more flawless. So I wanted to try it. I have like a little bitty trimmer that I've used on my little stash every now and then, but I've always been worried about using that on my whole face. And since that's what this is made for, it makes me feel a little more confident about doing it. I may do another um, like spa night video. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Go check it out. I'll have it linked below or maybe I'll put a card. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I want to do another video to show you some of the products I've been using. I think my dark spots are clearing up just based on looking at tutorials I've done before in the past through now. My skin looks a little more even, but I'm still working on it. So hopefully this will help. This right here. Yo, I need to hurry up and try this because honestly, I don't even know if it's going to work and I might be past the deadline to bring it back. This is the Infinite Pro by Conair. This thing, basically you put your hair in it and it just curls it. Like it sucks it in, it curls it, and then it tells you when to let it go and you have curls. Y'all have seen me struggle with curling my wigs, even my extensions right now. Like this was curled tighter and my curls are falling. But just to have to keep wrapping around and wrapping around long hair is a huge chore. So I'm hoping that this will make it easier to curl my hair. Spoiler alert, I also bought the one by Chi that is similar to this. And I want to do a video comparing them because the Chi one is a lot more expensive. This is by, yeah, Conair, if I didn't say that already. So it's a lot more affordable. I want to see which one works better just to give you guys an idea I looked on YouTube to see if there was a comparison and I don't think this one was included. So I'm gonna keep you updated on that. You guys will see a video, but hopefully this works. The other hair tool that I picked up is this Lange, Lange, I'm not sure, but this is actually a flat iron that has, a, has airflow vents on the other side of it that blow out cool air. So as you're curling your hair, the cool air helps to set your curls in place. I thought this would be a game changer because whenever I'm curling my wigs and longer hair, you have to let the hair cool off before you let it fall or it will just fall straight. So a lot of times you'll see people, they'll curl the hair and then they'll kind of hold it up to try to let it cool off to set first. This does it for you. I can't wait to use this and I'm kind of excited because I'm starting to feel like I don't know, not more professional, but just I'm going to figure this hair thing out one way or another and I have a lot more tools to do it. More hair products. I picked up this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray. Pretty sure this was at least half off when I picked it up. I have this already, but for whatever reason, my nozzle's not working and I have at least a half a can. So I am going to try to figure out how to get that to work. But again, you guys know me and my heat styling. I don't love to do it. And I am always looking for protectants to help protect my hair, not get split in. So I stock up on this stuff when I can find it on sale. More hair stuff. I have used this before. I am running low. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. 
I actually just use this on my hair whenever I want to add a little more shine and I love the way it smells. I do use it whenever I am doing my hair. Honestly, I use it just to freshen it more than anything else. This says it helps to strengthen, heat protect, reduce frizz, detangle, soften, cuts your drying time, adds shine, nourishes, smooths, and it has UV protection. It has argan oil and sunflower seed oil. This does feel like an oil. So if I have flyaways or my hair is looking dull, I spray this in and it works and smells amazing. I mentioned this, I think maybe in my second to last video, I know it was another haul and had Ulta stuff in it. I think it was the one with my Lunar Beauty stuff. This is the, I don't know what this brand is, the Art Naturals Luxe anti-aging germanium skincare stretch mark oil so this said that it was online only i looked in the store didn't see the brand in a few other stores i went to box came in this was busted all over the box brought it back and then i randomly decided to go check out another store one day and this was in the store so i picked this up i have no idea if it works well but it had amazing reviews on the ulta website so i wanted to try it I have gained weight, lost weight. My main areas of concern are my stomach and my hips and my butt. So hopefully this works. I don't know, but had great reviews, so it's promising. Another hair product I picked up. This is the Sexy Hair Style Play Dirty Dry Wax Spray. You guys know I love my Paul Mitchell Wax Spray. I use that anytime I want to keep my curls a little longer. It just helps to add a little texture to the hair but Paul Mitchell is a little more expensive. So I picked this one up mainly to see how it compares. I have not used it yet. I do not know. This says it has a hold of number four. It says shake well, spray lightly into finished hair for added texture and finishing hold. I don't use mine that way. I spray it on my hair before I style it. Maybe I'll try that after two, but hopefully this works just as well because it costs less. Another hair product, this is the Matrix Miracle Creator Multitask Treatment. This kind of reminds me as far as the claims of my, is it Redken? My Redken Multi 25. There's always these numbers, 10 claims, 20 claims, 25 claims, whatever. So this is just another leave-in treatment. It says for nourishment, boost shine, smooth the cuticle, helps prevent breakage from brushing, like that. Adds moisture, helps prevent heat damage, fights frizz, evens out porosity, minimizes damage, detangles, reduces dryness. So here's the thing. If you add moisture, it reduces dryness. Y'all are just reaching at this point, but okay. Conditions lightly, controls flyaways, helps prevent split ends, helps soften, makes blow drying easier, corrects roughness. Sounds like smooths, but okay and helps shield against external aggressors, improves manageability, and primes hair for styling. Whatever, boo. I need detangling and I need heat protection and split in repair. That's my main thing, so something else to add to my cabinet. I decided to try a different color touch-up spray. I can't, I see the Ever, Ever Pro is the brand that I normally use. This is DP Hue. This is our dark brown color touch-up spray. This, I think, it says temporary color and it says instant root cover with two spray settings to customize your application. Fast drying and last until your next shampoo. I've noticed with the EverPro, like I usually spray it here in my part and if I touch that area, it transfers to my hands. So I'm wondering if this one will be a little more transfer resistant so it can last longer, but we'll see. I finally picked up the Bedhead Hardhead Hairspray. I've heard that this is really good for laying your lace fronts and I'm always wanting to try something new. I love the stuff that I have now, but I've seen a lot of people use this. So this is kind of just like a, okay, I want to see what the hype is about, but I bought a small can just in case I don't like it. I can always use it for hairspray. This next product is the Bondi Boost Prosapil. That's what it says hair tonic. This is another hair product. I feel like I was having issues with my hair shedding a little bit a couple months, about a month ago, but it also could have been from stress. 
And I've also started feeling like lately, I don't know if it's the drier weather or something different with the water now being here in Georgia versus Texas. I'm starting to feel like my scalp's a little itchier, flakier, and I don't love it. So this is a hair tonic that is supposed to, Lord have mercy, can we get to the point? Targets aging hair follicles strengthening from the roots. It's lightweight, non-greasy, and won't leave your scalp feeling oily. So this just says part hair and apply a small amount directly to the scalp, massage in. You can apply it once a day, either morning or night. So should help with shedding, should help with moisturizing. I don't know if I'm gonna use this tonight because I just put my extensions in, but I will be using it soon. I think we're done with all the hair stuff. I'm gonna just show this because it's right here on top. This was a free gift that I got. Christmas is done, but I didn't open this, so yeah. I thought this was really cute. It was a free gift, a stocking, and it feels like there's something in, there is stuff in here. I didn't know that. Let's see. So in the stocking, we have Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which I love for at night. This is the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I'm gonna try that tonight because I didn't sleep well last night. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. Saving this for the summer because I don't need it now in the cold. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. This is cute. And then the, ooh, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser. Sunday Riley, really expensive. I think I tried this at small sample from Sephora years ago when it first came out. Excited to have this again. I decided to pick up this it brush bath this is by it cosmetics they have a really nice line of brushes they are really expensive i have a few in my collection that i've gotten on sale over the years but this is their brush cleansing balm i've never tried it and i think it had really good reviews but of course it was on sale which made me want to try it even more I'm trying to open it oh that's small okay so this is how big the box is and then why are you giving this big? Look at that. It smells kind of minty a little bit, but that's a really small bar of soap for this box. It says it just swirl it into the cleanser, rinse with water, then squeeze extra moisture out. But I'm sure I'm going to need something to scrub it against. I just wanted to see how this compares. My favorite is actually the Sephora brand cleanser that comes in the little solid, but we'll see how this one compares to that because the Sephora one's pretty cheap. I just wanted to try this one. I ain't even gonna lie. I hate cleaning brushes. So anything that makes it faster, I'll spend the money on it if it gets the job done quicker. I was trying to keep everything grouped together, but I can't at this point. So I'm just gonna go. Bought lashes. I buy lashes anytime I can get them on sale. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Full and Fluffy. These look pretty intimidating because they look kind of big but at the same time i love that they have the invisible band it says it's a flexi band and it has a split tip technology to make it look more real these are in the style ruffle these look like they're really straight i don't know i'm gonna have to try these for a glam look because i don't think i could pull it off with just something more natural but pretty excited i'm still struggling with lashes so i don't know hopefully these won't be too bad Another pair of lashes I picked up. These are the Ardell Remy lashes. It says they're new. They are premium Remy hair with Invisiband. Keratin infused tapered tips. These look less intimidating. Not as long. So I don't know. These could probably go with a more natural look. Hopefully they will be easy to apply. But they almost kind of look like they could look like extensions. Band is probably too long for me, so I am gonna have to cut it, but I think these are going to be cute. I did pick up an IT brush. This is the IT Cosmetics Flawless Blush Brush. I think I picked this up because I was curious to see how it would work with my cream blushes and my cream contour products. I've had trouble finding a brush that can actually pick up the product well. And so, I don't know, I just thought this one would work well for that does it say you can use it with powders or creams yep cream liquid or powder blushes so yeah that's why i picked this one up 
I picked up this brush set. I ain't even gonna lie. I picked it up because of the color switch in it. This is by Real Techniques. It was a limited edition set. The set's cute, love the colors. You get three, four, five, seven brushes, and then you get the little sponge color switch. I had one and I haven't been able to find it. I love using these when I'm doing makeup looks, especially if I do two or three looks in a video. I don't have to dirty a bunch of brushes. You just rub it off in there and the color comes off and you can use the brush. So these are all eye brushes and then, I don't know what that look, a lash groomer. I don't use that. There's a smudge brush, a detailer brush, a tapered shadow, a shading brush, a brow and spoolie brush, a blending brush, and then your color switch. So you can never have enough eyeshadow brushes. I picked up an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. I think these were on sale for like $16. I love these more than the brow wiz because they are thicker and my brows are thick enough. So I use this to do most of the main work. And then like today I went in with a smaller brush and I actually like how my brows came out today. They're not too big, a little more defined, but I don't know. That might be a new style that I need to keep doing. I got this in the shade Dark Brown. That's the shade I buy in all of her products. So this was just a backup to have. Happy about this one. Finally re-upped on my MAC Retro Matte Lip Color in Topped with Brandy. I don't know if you guys saw, I talked about this months ago and then I dropped it and the whole top came off. So I can't screw it tight. It's starting to dry out, but I was holding on because I love this color. It is perfect for the fall. I don't want to open this one. I have one open, but it is a beautiful, cool toned, dark nude and I needed to have a backup. So now I finally do and I got it on sale. I picked up the Velour Lashes Lash and Go 3-in-1 Eyeliner Magnetic and Lash Adhesive. So apparently this is supposed to be an eyeliner. It is also supposed to be a glue. It says it's a lash adhesive when it's wet. It's an eyeliner when it's dry and it works with magnetic lashes. If this thing works, this can replace like every lash product that I have. I am praying that it does. It is expensive, but if it does all three of those things, it sounds like it'll be worth it. So I'm putting this on my desk because I will be using it soon. This is another skincare product. This is the Kapari Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. Any products that say they help with glowing or discoloration. This one says collagen loving peptides, rose extract to smooth and hydrate, hyaluronic acid and coconut water. It's a gel cream texture that smooths on like a dream. Helps to minimize the appearance of fine lines. Boom. Also rose extract for an even complexion. Double boom. This is what I look for whenever I'm looking for moisturizers and serums. Getting down to the wire, I also picked up these Kitsch Derma Planers. These are facial razors that help kind of like the tool that I bought, but these are just the razors. I don't know how much I'm gonna use these on my face. These were pretty inexpensive and honestly, I wanted to try them for cutting the lace off my wigs. <laughs> that is my main reason for getting them, but I don't know, I may try it on my face. I just, these scare me, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'll use them around my eyebrows and I'll use them for my wigs. That was the main point of purchase. I picked up a limited edition body scrub. The girl in the store sold me on this. This is in the scent Candy Cane. This is by Tea Tree Hut. I have so many, probably like six or seven jars of different scents of these, but this literally smells like a candy cane. It is going in my bathroom for me to use tonight. I've just been waiting for this haul to film it so I wouldn't forget about it. Smells amazing. I don't know if you can still get it or not. If you can, pick it up. Another skincare item. This is the Beekman 802 Milk Wash. This is an exfoliating jelly cleanser. This says it helps to remove makeup, targets oily skin, and helps skin appear clearer and brighter. Ding, 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 right up my alley. Skincare is expensive. Buy it when you can on sale. I did buy an eyeshadow palette. I picked up the Lorac Pro Palette in Fairy Tale Forest. Lorac had, I don't know, they kind of fell off for a little while and their palettes were kind of starting to all look the same. And then they came out with this Pro Series. This was the one that appealed to me the most because I think there's a green in it, to be honest, but it looks like 
All of the colors are very similar. This was pretty inexpensive. I still got it on sale, but I just remember I opened it and I was like, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. There are only three, four, five, six, seven, eight mattes in here, and then the rest are shimmers. But it's a pretty palette. Um, I really just wanted to see what this formula is like now because I did have the Lorac Pro palette, like the first one, way back in the day. And then I didn't buy any of the other ones because they all just kind of look the same. So I'm curious to see how the formula is now versus what it was like before. And these shimmers look absolutely beautiful. So this will come up in a tutorial soon. Almost done. If you're still here, comment below and tell me what palette I just said I picked up. It's the Lorac palette, but comment below and let me know because I just want to see who actually watched almost this whole video. A few more things. I picked up this Dr. Paul Overnight Lip Mask. This is a weird, I don't know. I just, I never saw this brand before and it says it softens and smooths. It's a lip mask for day or night, multi-purpose. I love stuff like this. It's going to stay by my bed to help keep my lips moisturized at night. I've been doing really good, not picking, so I haven't had any issues, but I just wanna keep it that way. I also picked up this Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I have been doing my nails at home. I don't go to the salon, and I usually do press-ons, or these are actually from the brand Vanity Planet, and these are strips that you put under a UV light, and then they actually harden love and plan to buy more very easy to use but my cuticles look like trash being in the gym washing my hands a lot not always using lotion i wanted something to help clean it up so when i do my nails they actually look decent i picked up another of one of my favorite sets this is press on they're actually glue on nails but this is a marble collection these are called I don't know if this is the name nails on point or what I can never tell with these things, but I love these and I hope you guys can see the color. It is like a cool toned light purple and then these are marbled and these are glittered, but I think the set just goes so well together and I feel like this is like a perfect special occasion set. Last, I'm going to run through these real quick. I love Ulta's gifts with purchase. They always have good stuff. I have a jar of all these little minis that I've gotten over the years. These are just a bunch of little samples. This is the Tula 24-7 Probiotics and Superfood Night Cream, Day and Night Cream. It's a hydrating moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Night Recovery Concentrate. It's a little liquid. I don't know if I've tried this before, but serum and then a bunch of cute little packets good jeans origins it cosmetics la roche posay drunk elephant okay and then the belief eye bomb that's the first set and then the second set actually has makeup stuff in it i love these this has the mac magnetic extensions mascara which i've never tried never heard of this is a five millimeter fiber mascara. Hadn't tried this. This is the, what are you? Mag Magnetic Luminous Eye Color? What? Never heard of this, don't know how it works. What is it? Mag magnetic? It looks like it's like a shimmery nude shade, but I don't understand the magnet. Okay, I have to open this. I don't understand what is the magnet. This just looks like a shimmery eye. Ooh, it's pretty. Shimmery eye pencil. What it's gonna be magnetized to, I have no idea, but cute shade for a nice little inner corner highlight. Elf Luminous Putty Primer. NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Lancome. Dark Circle Correcting Under Eye Cream. Thank you, boo. Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Audition. This looks like a super light nude. Oh. Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. OG. And two more, Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. And then Milani Ludacris Matte Lip Crayon. This is a gorgeous shade. 
it's just a lip kind of like a lip pencil not gonna show oh you can see it a little bit yeah you can definitely see that love things like this to put in my purse because they are very easy to use and not a lot of fuss guys i'm exhausted that is it i can't believe i finally got that done i can finally put this stuff away this box has been haunting me for at least a month I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it was a lot. I hope you stayed to the end. Comment and let me know what you would like to see. If you have any of these, if you can give me any feedback of what I probably should have brought back, but probably can't now because it's past the return time. Hate when I do that. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching hauls so I know I can feel more and not feel guilty about it. If you're new, I hope you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.